I first started coming to Calvary Westland, it must have been like 2000. I came as a volunteer and I was in and out of the church. I mean, I know God and all that, but I wasn't like dedicated to it. And a few years ago, I was in a situation, I got married and I still came to church, but that's as far as it went. And after I got separated from my husband, and it became bad. I started drinking. Like three years later, I made the decision to say, this is it. I said, God, I'm surrendering ever to you. Tell me what I need to do. So I came back to the church. I started getting into Bible studies and recommitted my life to Jesus again. I got five times, and from then on, my life started changing. And it was changing without me even realizing that I was changing it, you know, and I would say, oh wow, I'm not doing that anymore. I kept going to church and something didn't feel right. I felt like I was carrying a burden on my shoulders. And that Sunday there was a cross in front of the church and Pastor Dry called anybody that had a burden to come down and leave it at the cross. And I, I wanted to but didn't, but something kept pushing me because I, I, need, I, I knew I had to make that decision. So I made that decision and I came at the cross. Literally, I lost it because I felt so ashamed that I felt like I was living a thorough life, you know? And nobody knew it, but God did. So he was the one that was telling me, pushing me, you need to make that decision. And from then on, I could totally say that, yes. I have not regret making my decision, giving my life over. And I pray that I'm living up to his expectation. I'm not saying that it's not easy because every day is a challenge because things happen in your life, you know, that you don't expect. I'm more at peace with myself. I accept these situations as they come. I don't take things literally personally anymore. And if I do, I pray about it before I open my mouth. So before I open my mouth or I'm in a situation where I see people around me like that, either I give my positive input or I just walk away. Because, you know, you don't want to hurt somebody's feelings. So I try to do, think, what, what would Jesus do in a situation like that? It's amazing that how long I've been at this church, you know, and now everybody knows me. I love my church. I'm Maria Orlana, and I have been made new.